All right, guys, we've got 46 homes on 27 acres to do a fall cleanup on. And we don't have exactly the right equipment. I'll be straightforward with you. We're using my dump trailer, but we don't have a leaf vacuum, which means I've got to actually drive the mower into the dump trailer. And that's kind of fine in theory, but it's actually pretty flippin' sketchy. Which you'll see. So every time I load up, like, like right here, the ramp went sideways on me. I load up, back it in there, dump the leaves, then pick them up, throw them to the front. But we don't do that many fall cleanups that I'm gonna be spending a ton of money on a leaf vacuum or whatever. I mean, literally we spend maybe four or five days a year doing fall cleanups and that's it. So we make do. We can make do. We're using the, this is our Toro 61 inch lawnmower with the leaf vacuum and it works great as long as the leaves are dry. If it's even slightly wet, forget it. This is the pond we've got to clean up. And this is exactly where we slid down the hill and into the pond. And this thing that Alex is running is called the Hurricane Leaf Floor. Super tippy. Like, it's so backwards tippy that he can't ride it up. It would just, it would <clears throat> go bass backwards real fast. <laughs> but it's an amazing machine. It's an amazing machine. This thing is probably the best investment we've ever made for fall cleanups. Just get some done. What's wrong with the echo? What's that? Wonder what's wrong with that. running too rich. We'll let him work on that. Let's go dump our next load into the trailer. Yeah, like, hey. All I'm doing is getting blow by. I gotta lower it down so I get the shroud to capture the leaves, but what are we mowing at out here? You can probably mow it at uh, two and three quarters. Just watch the wheels on the, low, on the high spots. They're already, I mean, I tell you this is wet. On that hill there, I can't get on them steep hills. Oh yeah, the hills, yeah, now we're down. No, we won't do it. So two and three quarters? Yeah. Okay, I'll see how that works. All right, let's drop her down. this up and then I'm gonna head that way so this Toro lawnmower is heavy like a tank and it's got counterweights on the front because of the weight of the bagger on the back but the ground is really wet and it's actually in some areas just denting the ground just you got I got to be really careful how Many times I go over the same area with this. It does a pretty good job of vacuuming. You gotta get the, you gotta lower the shroud down. If it's too high, everything just blows away. You get it just right, she'll suck pretty good. See, I'm turning too tight. That mower is really heavy, and I'm not used to a mower being that heavy, and so, Every time I turn, if I'm not very careful, I'm gonna be 
creating a lot of damage. It looks like Alex got that uh, blower tuned in. Jake is running the steel. I think it's a BS 800. It's got that weird self-starting feature. The guys love this floor. Not at first, but eventually this they started to love this steel blower and now boom, it goes out everywhere with them. What are we up to? We're just gonna go start getting the other side prepped up, blowing what we can into the back, and if there's just a tiny bit of leaf in the front, we'll leave it for you to come through and bag it. But otherwise, most of the stuff in the back there can go in the woods. It's really good. Side right here that I can't have any into the woods. Because of the lake? Yep. Okay. Yeah. You want me to go in down there and just start pre-bagging so we got less to blow when we get to that point, or would you want me to just follow behind you guys? Might as well just follow behind us, yeah. Okay. We'll work from left to right. So we're starting at the far end and working our way back down to this neck of the woods. Yeah. Alright guys, let's see what we got cooking in here because we're certainly not picking up any leaves. Bound up. She got bound up. And it's not even wet right now. And so this thing plugged up. In any wet leaves. They're wet. They're not going up in the tube. They're not even that wet. They're not even that wet. I mean, it's not a bad bagger, and it's simple to fix. I mean, it's just doing this. But I think there could be a better... It's like it's a single stage bagger. I think a two stage bagger, like one picks it up, one blows it in, I don't know. We want her to suck. Here we go. So with this bagger, you gotta get the deck height adjusted just right or you just blow everything away. And the leaves gotta be pretty dry for this thing to work without any problems. If the leaves are wet, forget it. Just not with this one. Not with this one. I think we're back in business. Let's keep going. So Jake and Alex are working ahead of me. And I'm gonna bag this area up, and it's kind of a windy day. So then I'm gonna try to get these these leaves cleaned up as fast as so look at so you can see the leaves just kind of blow in as we go by. That's a weird, cool kind of slow motion thing. That's kind of new, Danny. I've never seen do that before. Slow motion is kind of cool. Dude, it's, look at the tires. That's wild. Did you guys see the tire on it? Back it up and look at the tire. It's just weird looking. That's kind of weird. The mower went from half full to all the way empty. All at once. Hope I don't have a leak in the fuel tank. I didn't expect the top to leak. My Dodge truck does that too. It'll go from you got a quarter tank left to all of a sudden all the lights are flashing and you got like eight miles yeah. till you're empty or oh, something right like that. For the hurricane leaf blower, that sucks fuel and we need that even more. We need this. Shirt cans are super expensive gas cans, but they are my favorite. 
except when my guys take them all because they literally work Let's better than anything else. So my guys are always taking my shirt track, shirt cans. Just this morning, I went and picked up a truck because I got to load some equipment up. There's one of my fuel cans. I'm like, I've been missing that. So when you got stuff that's too nice, it tends to disappear. All right, guys, let's load another back in. Look at, I dump leaves. This thing is just, I got to figure this out, you guys. Watch my front tire. <laughs> There's no room up in there. There's no room. I'm trying to get in that deck is slippery. As soon as you get any leaves between your tires and the thing. Not the best way to do it, but it gets it done. So on this complex, we are allowed to blow some leaves over the hill in certain areas. We don't have to bag and haul everything out, which is kind of nice, because there's a lot of leaves on this complex. But we do bag a lot of it up, well bag it, we do load it up and haul it away. I tried to help Jake out. I see where the hurricane is right now. This idea didn't work so hot. I went and did it. Trying to get all the leaves off from underneath this deck. You can see them over there. So I bring the hurricane in here and I blew all the rocks out instead. Well, I mean, I did blow all the leaves off, but I did both. So let's clean them up. Yeah, those will break a window for sure. We got wild turkeys in our neck of the woods too, and they go through and they kick rocks off. So every time we gotta pick them up and put them back in there, otherwise we're gonna be breaking windows. All right, you guys, well, we've got 46 homes and 27 acres. And the process isn't gonna change. So you can see what we're doing here. We're getting her all cleaned out. But just in case my battery runs dead, gonna show you what we got done before the day is over and we got probably about a third of this complex left to go but it's coming along good so the three of us were able to come into this complex using a hurricane leaf blower two backpack blowers and that Toro and clean the whole thing up in a day and a half I know it's gonna sound stupid we actually have a trailer with a tarp or a cover. 30 some years. Wanted one. Never had one. I am so glad I put this cover on right after this. I took off with this load and pulled out directly Ooh, behind me was a commercial DOT law enforcement officer and he followed me and I'm hauling leaves. So you know if I didn't have that tarp on there, whoosh, woo, woo, woo. Hello, Mr. Genetic. Can I look at your license and registration and just do in their job? But I had the tarp on, didn't get pulled over. I was like, oh, Nelly, that worked out. <laughs> that was nice. We're also gonna be uh, testing out a new piece of equipment called a Worky Quad. And it's kind of like 
a sidewalk snow removal thing that you guys see, like a Ventrac SSV or whatever they call them, um, that are real dedicated for you know removing snow. But this thing actually has a bucket on the front. You can lift and load trailers. You can load stuff. So it's kind of one of those pieces of equipment that instead of it just being for one specific job, one season, you can use this thing year round. And I'm going to test that thing out. It's kind of neat. That's our video for today, though, guys. God bless. Go get them. Hopefully, we'll see you on another one. Catch you guys later. Have a good one, you guys.